خلیفہ کے لبوں سے جو گلو جوہر بکھرتے ہیں خلیفہ کے لبوں سے جو گلو جوہر بکھرتے ہیں بڑے انمول موتی ہے یہ دولت ہم سنبھالیں گے بڑے انمول موتی ہے یہ دولت ہم سنبھالیں گے Uh, we'll go over to Muslim now. Muslim will give a quick summary of today's Friday sermon. Uh, so, so Muslim, if you can please share your screen. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, A'udhu billahi rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Um, Hazrat Khalifa al-Masih Ayyadullah Ta'ala bin Asil Aziz stated that I will continue to narrate about Hazrat Usman Raziyallahu mentioning his many good attributes he stated that Hazrat Usman excelled in modesty and chastity the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam once said that the most merciful among the followers is Hazrat Abu Bakr Raziyallahu the most severe in following the commands of Allah is Hazrat Umar Raziyallahu and the most modest is Hazrat Usman Raziyallahu Hazrat Aisha Raziyallahu relates that once the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was lying in my house while a part of his legs was uncovered. Hazrat Abu Bakr sought permission to enter, followed by Hazrat Umar. Both were granted permission by the Holy Prophet ﷺ in that condition. Then Hazrat Usman Raziyallahu sought permission to enter. The Holy Prophet ﷺ sat up and covered his legs. When Hazrat Aisha inquired about this, the Holy Prophet ﷺ said that, should I not show modesty, towards a person, person to whom even angels show modesty. Explaining this incident, Hazrat Muslim Maud says that once Hazrat Usman was modest towards, that, that since Hazrat Usman was modest towards other people, the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also treated him in a similar manner. This shows that if a person is close to God, he should be mindful and stay away from sins. He should not have this attitude, attitude that since God is merciful, he will forgive my sins. If God is benevolent towards us, we should also reciprocate by staying away from sins. As the Khalifa al masih explained the details of how Quran was preserved and the role of Hazrat Usman. Following the death of the Holy Prophet wasallam, a copy of the Quran was compiled by Hazrat Abu Bakr. This copy then came to Hazrat Umar and then Hazrat Umm al-Mu'mineen Hazrat Hafsa Raziyallahu following the death of her father Hazrat Umar. During the era of Hazrat Usman, Hazrat Huzaifa Raziyallahu expressed this concern that many differences are arising in people in their reading of the Quran. He asked Hazrat Usman to take care of the Muslim Ummah lest they start to differ about the Book of Allah as was done by the Jews and Christians. Hence, Hazrat Usman requested Hazrat Hafsa for her copy of the Quran. Copying this, many copies were prepared and sent to different places. The original copy was returned to Hazrat Hafsa Raziyallahu. Hazrat Usman Raziyallahu also ordered that all other copies of the Quran should be burned. Allama Qutubi said that if anyone was to ask why he had other copies of the Quran burnt, the reason was that people started to differ in their recitation of the Quran. In the commentary, commentary of the Quranic verse, as shown here, Hazrat Muslim has explained that even the enemies of Islam accept that the Quran we have today is the same Quran given by the Holy Prophet Muhammad. This cannot be said about other divine scriptures. Hazrat Khalifa al Masih the first once said that people mistakenly think of Hazrat Usman as the compiler of the Quran. He was not the compiler. He merely spread the Quran throughout the world. The compiler of the Quran was the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He did it under divine instructions. Zakallah. Mashallah, Zakallah, Muslim. Very, very good. Um, as you know, Zul has been continuing on talking about Hazrat Usman, even though in the last time he spoke about him was about um, his death. But because he has so many good qualities, um, Zul obviously felt the need to carry on talking about those qualities, which. 
uh, we should try to uphold. One of the things which I found really beautiful, as we said today, was um, about his humility, just like Muslim mentioned. Um, but he was also very shy. Um, and he said that the Holy Prophet وسلم, really loved this quality of him. Because if you're shy, especially in the way of Allah, you will also be shy in doing um, wrong things, meaning that you will abstain from doing those. So the quality of being shy is actually a good thing, uh, which sometimes we should uphold, um, um, you know, inculcate within ourselves. Um, so never think that someone who's shy, you know, is a bad thing. It's also, it's also a very good thing if, if it's in, channeled in the right way and can be very, very useful in terms of spirituality as well. Brilliant, Jazakumullah. Uh, moving on.